Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and today we're going to be checking out the optics of the Ingenue Optimo 30 to 76. We're going to be running a few studio tests on it from checking if it's parfocal, then flaring, breathing, checking out the bokeh, and then looking at sharpness and edge distortion. For a camera, we're using the Ari Alexa Mini and we're shooting in 4K. And if you want to jump ahead to any of the tests specifically, I'll put links to all the times in the description below along with all of our camera settings. So without further ado, let's jump into this first one. Here is our parfocal test, and what we're gonna do is zoom in all the way to 76 millimeters, which is the tightest this lens can go, and then we'll zoom all the way back out to 30 and make sure that the lens stays focused through that whole zoom range, and it definitely does with this lens. Next, we're gonna take a look at flaring, and you can see starting right in the center, you see some circles around it, and then we're just gonna go and pan around so the light stays just on the inside of the frame, and you can see a lot of like rainbow colors in here, which is pretty neat, and it has a really cool effect, and I kinda of dig how those colors look. Now we're gonna go back to center, and then we'll pan off so that the light is outside of frame, and we're just gonna pan around doing the same thing. As you can see, when we get into the corners, you start seeing a lot of really deep saturated colors like the reds down in the lower left hand corner and then again we're getting some bursts and flaring of those rainbow colors coming across the frame we're just gonna go down the left side here back to center and then tilt up now we're gonna do that test again at 76 millimeters I have dropped in an ND filter because it was just too bright and you couldn't see anything with the flares, so that's why it's a little bit darker elsewhere. But we're gonna do the same thing, panning around with the light just inside the frame. Not getting a ton of flares, but you do get some really smooth transitions and nice blooming from the light. We'll go back to center and then we're gonna put the light just outside of frame. This looks really cool. It almost gives a little bit of a dreamy effect, really soft, creamy colors and smooth transitions from them. There's no real hard edges and, and no hard reflections of the elements from the light. Now we'll switch over and do a breathing test. First at 30 millimeters, we're just gonna rack focus from close focus all the way to infinity to see if there's any breathing or zooming in and out as we rack focus. And if you watch on the right side, you can see the doorknob and it barely moves. So I would say this lens has almost no breathing, which is really nice to have. We'll jump in and do the same thing at 76 millimeters. So we're at close focus here, and now we're gonna rack through the zoom range. You can see the lens wobbling a little bit, and that's just me bumping it. That's not any part of the breathing. All the way to infinity, and then we're gonna come back through the focus range. Infinity all the way back to close focus, and you can see that there's almost no breathing. Next, let's take a look at the bokeh at 30 millimeters. We're focused at two feet, six inches. And I'm just gonna go through the aperture range so you can see how the out of focus areas blur through that whole range. It all pretty much stays the same shape, getting a little more rounder as we go wide open and then a little more boxy as we close down. Let's check this at 76 millimeters. So here we are focused at five feet now. And if you look at the bokeh on the left side, you see it almost go into a football shape as we get wide open into the 2.8 and then close down into that more hexagon or octagon shape as we close down to T22. And the last test that we're gonna run is the edge distortion and sharpness test. To do this, we're just gonna pan back and forth all the way to one side to see if it starts to stretch out my face and right towards the edge, it does a tiny bit, but it's very minimal. And you can see there's not much distortion on the edges either, keeping those straight lines very straight. Here we are at 76 millimeters, T2.8 all the way open, doing the same thing. This lens is super sharp across the whole frame and almost no distortion at 76 millimeters, which is what I would think it would be. That's gonna be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this lens test of the Ingenue Optimo 30 to 76. If you guys wanna learn more information about it or try it out for yourself, head on over to lensprotego.com. And if you wanna see more lens test videos just like this one, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Also subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. As always, I'll see you in the next one.